Yo, what's going on, guys? It's your friend Mr. Crash. So, yesterday, I tried streaming the Sonic Prime premiere on Roblox yesterday, and, um... I hate you, Netflix. So, with that being said, I'm just gonna be doing a video of this. Hopefully, if I'm able to get this video up, hopefully I don't get it taken down by YouTube, because I've already gotten, like, I almost, literally almost... Just about got copyright strike on my channel. That wouldn't have allowed me to live stream, which would have screwed over, screwed over my entire December schedule. So I think I got it cleared up. I don't think we have a copyright strike. I think we're in the clear. But hopefully we don't have a copyright strike. Um, let's hope for the best. So please keep me in your thoughts as we as I try to deal with the situation. Um, but I guess from now on, we're going to try and do something a little bit different. Or we'll just do a video format of this kind of stuff. But today I'm just going to be doing a reaction, a short reaction of the Sonic Prime Episode 1 premiere. Because apparently they showed the entire first episode all day yesterday on Roblox on Sonic Speed Simulator. And I wasn't expecting that. I thought it was going to be like a short sneak peek of it. But um, they showed the entire episode, which I was not expecting at all. So um, yeah, I'm going to be reacting to the entire episode um, on this video and then analyzing it. Although my reaction won't be the entire episode because the episode's like 40 minutes. So it'll be turned down to like five, five minutes of my reaction. Just with different segments and parts that I think are funny or interesting. So, just keep that in mind, but the analysis will be a full in-depth analysis and an overview of the episode. So, if you guys do happen to enjoy this short reaction, also in long in-depth analysis of the first episode of Sonic, or Sonic Prime on Netflix, make sure you do leave a like and subscribe if you guys want, guys want to stay up to date on all the latest Sonic and Nintendo news and content. But that being said, let's just jump straight in. No introduction. Let's do this. Do keep in mind, I did record this in Roblox, so um, hopefully... Netflix, please don't take me down for this. Netflix, I swear. Uh, Netflix, I didn't mean what I said in my Discord server. Please, please, please. Okay, so just keep in mind, this UI stuff, I couldn't get out of the way. But here we go. So I recorded this yesterday in Roblox because right after my live stream, I just decided to record the whole thing. But yeah, here we go. So if I do move around, it's because um, if you stay idle for like 15 minutes, it'll boot you out. So the camera will move around and shift around. But here we go. So we start in Green Hill Zone. And oh my gosh, th this looks amazing. This looks absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> and then, yeah, and there's gonna be Roblox sounds, which I can clip out of the recording. But um, uh, yo, sorry, big, sorry, froggy, can't chat. Gotta go help our friend. We've seen this. We've seen this part already. No problem, Sonic. No problem, this is where Sonic. Your friends are, as they say. Save this place a million times from mm -hmm. this doofus. Oh boy. Yep. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this looks so good! More on him later. Oh man, this looks so good! And they did compress it, which is okay, but um, I am going to be talking a lot over this because I don't want to get copyrighted and taken out by Netflix, but oh my gosh. And the rays are popping out of the screen! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Nothing flusters me, Sonic. Oh my god. <laughs> Yo, it sounds so pretty this this voice actually sound pretty good so far. Oh my gosh. I don't know about Rouge. I'm a little I'm a little iffy on Rouge, but um the, the, the flickies. Yo, she sounds good! I like her! Oh my gosh. People have been saying she sounds a lot different, but I kinda like I kinda like the uh, the approach they went for with the voice direction for Amy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> Perfect. Awesome. Yo. Oh man. Yo, the music's pretty good, honestly. Wait, is he crushing the prism? Yo, he's crushing the prism! Yo. Um. Hello? Uh. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy! Oh! Oh! Oh, he done did it now. A Netflix series. Dude, we're just jumping straight into it. Oh my gosh, I didn't expect him to just go. We're already in it. We're already in the Shatterverse. Is the most beautiful place on Earth. I think she means Mobius, right? Because Green Hills is on Mobius. Unless they're taking this as if we're on Earth, but it's actually Mobius, so just want to point that out there. Rouge sounds different, but it's okay. Okay, Amy does sound a little bit different. Yeah. Yeah, Tails, yeah. The voice actors sound different, but I love it. I love it. Oh my gosh. Okay, so the blue red. Okay. Blue electricity. That's a sonic boom of a headache. 
Stop, 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 stop. No, no, stop, stop, no. Oh my freaking gosh, he did not, they did not, he did not just say that. He did not just, a sonic boom of a headache? Oh, it's Sonic X all over again. It's Sonic X in America all over again. It looks like, looks like Stix's brother right over there. You can't remember? Wait, what? Yeah, that's what I'm curious about. Wait, whoa, whoa, why are they getting darker? <laughs> oh my gosh, that's great. That's funny. It's pretty funny. Wait, what? Wait, what? How was he able to read that? That wasn't even English. Or at least a language from the Sonic series. Big, big wearing pants. Big, big wearing, oh, I don't know what those kinds of pants are called. Oh my gosh. You've got to be freaking kidding me. These jokes going to be all over the place. Uh-oh. Oh, Chaos Council. So it's not Eggman Council? Why are they called Chaos Council? Oh, whoa, whoa! Sonic CD? Yo! What is... Whoa! What is that energy around him? <laughs> Face slams the wall. Okay, I just want to say, Reigns were popping out of the screen this entire time when I was doing the interactive experience on Roblox. Oh my gosh! Jeez. Now, that is weird. So, is Eggman not using Flunkies anymore in this, um, alternate universe? Oh, gosh. This music's so good! I love the music! Yo, this animation is so good! This music's so good! Oh, my gosh. Yo, this is amazing. Absolutely phenomenal job. Man of Action Entertainment did such an awesome job. And Wild Brain. Wild Brain, Wild Brain was also involved in the... During the production of the show. They did an amazing job. I just gotta point that out right now. Oh, my gosh! The squash and stretch with the legs. Oh my gosh, I love it. Oh boy, uh, you don't 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 get crushed, boy. There you go. <gasps> Ooh, Amy. What, Amy? What? Oh. So he finally realizes. Yeah, cause I I pretty much figured that out during the trailers too. That this is Green Hill, but Eggman took over. Oh wait, what? Flashback. Oh, flashback. Okay, before Prism Shatter. That must have been earlier that day then. Again, that looks like the Egg Dragoon. Literally. Oh my gosh, dude. I love some of these lines, dude. Their personality is screaming out of them. Oh my gosh. Oh my. <laughs> what is it? Sonic X Sonic? It's like ignorant. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh no. Oh no. Yeah, he's trying to push his buttons. Yeah, he just doesn't listen. He just lets his ego get to him. Yeah, he just takes the hit. That's how you know it's a trap. Oh, man. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. Good shadow. Oh, yeah, you can tell this video was compressed. Whoa. And that's what the- Oh, he used him. Oh, he used him. Oh, you done did it now, Sonic. What is that? I don't know, it doesn't- I mean, it looks like a, th a thing that would hold his seat in place, but I don't know. Spectacularly! <laughs> My gosh. <laughs> yes, I love how they brought over the inner- Popples. I love how they brought the interplay with Orbot, Cubot, and Eggman. That's awesome. A nice attention to detail. Love it. Love to see it. Oh my gosh, dude! That is a nice Easter egg. Oh my gosh. If you guys didn't catch on to that Easter egg, mm, that was a nice touch. Thanks, Sonic. You can put them over there. Thanks, Sonic. Huh. Wow. One time he actually outsmarted Sonic. Actually, no, it's not the first time, actually. It's, many, it's been a. Yeah, it's been many more times. <laughs> There's been many times that Eggman's outsmarted Sonic, but this one, mm, yeah. Oh, those sometimes. Yo, the animations here. Dude. And it's very deep within the Green Hill bed. These expressions and movements. I love these animations. Dude, these expressions. Dude, these expressions. 
Dude! Oh my gosh, the animation! Oh my gosh! I love the animation in this! Oh my gosh! I love the animation in this. This is amazing. I love Warbot and Cubot. I love how they bring up. You okay, bro? You okay, bro? Awesome. I love that. Love that. Dude, that egg crusher here looks like so it's called the egg crusher, but it really looks a lot like the egg dragoon. I can see how they're taking inspiration from the games and the movies. I love this so much. I love this so much, dude. And back to the present. <laughs> oh, there's a camera up there. You see that? Yeah. Rusty Rose. That doesn't sound like Egg Man. I don't like where that's going with Amy. Oh, Babel. Oh, we're gonna see the baby. The baby. The baby. Oh, yo, this is his brother. Six is brother right there. <laughs> There's that energy around the Sonic again. Oh, is this the baby? Is this the baby? The baby. Oh, man. Oh, my gosh. Wheel of Fortune. A oh, baby rap. Uh, move. Oh. Oh. Slammed. Yo. Yo, Sonic wins! Sonic wins! Yo! I love how they're taking aspects from the games. This is awesome. Sonic wins. It's the baby. Ah, it's the baby! It's the baby! It's the baby! It's baby Eggman! No one says that, by the way. Oh, poor baby. Poor baby Eggman. Oh, man. I feel bad. I honestly do feel bad. Eggman just beat the crap out- Sonic just beat the crap out of Dr. Baby Eggman. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Destroyed! The mush Ooh! Is there a rebellion? Oh man. Yum. Uh, oh! Uh! Uh! Oh man. Yo, you can climb walls! Spider Tails! <laughs> Spider Man! Spider Fox! Oh, oh, ooh! Bro, Tails got moves. Oh my gosh. <laughs> nine. The end is nine. Oh, wait a minute. Is this where I saw that clip the other day from um, Netflix After School's uh, YouTube channel? Or Buds? Amigos! <laughs> oh. Who's a trainer? <laughs> Who's a trainer? That line's gonna that line's gonna stick to me throughout this entire series. Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh, he's dead. Oh. <sighs> Bro, if, he, if they didn't get off that train. <gasps> oh. So I too. Yo. Okay. Okay. The pixel. Uh, the the. Sprite worker use some work. The sprite worker could definitely use some some attention. Oh my gosh. That's not how it happened. Wait, what? And you weren't there. I was a kid. Oh yo! Your shoes are smoldering. <laughs> oh wow, they're about to catch on fire. They're about to catch on fire. Space is whiners. Oh my gosh. Oh! <laughs> it's not a gun. Yeah, it's not a gun. <laughs> it would be funny if it was a gun. Just shoots him out of existence. Then wait, Sonic wakes up. Oh, it's a bad dream. Oh, yo! Oh, yo! Oh, gosh. Uh... <gasps> the shoes! The gloves! You dope! <laughs> you dope! Run up the walls? What? Wanna run up the walls? Eh, look, look what you did. Look what you did. The baby. The baby. Baby. Oh. The fiendish five. <laughs> oh, Dr. Done it. <laughs> oh, dude, I'm gonna love these guys. Oh, you always got an arm tattoo. You see that? Dr. Don't. Yo, the Steam Deck. Steam Deck right there. Da baby. 
Dr. Babble. Oh my gosh. So is this Eggman that we know, or is this a different Eggman? Okay, I have some theories about this, but I'm gonna get into it after the reaction, okay? How do you understand what that baby said? What? That again is proving my theory, which I'm gonna mention later. That's not Sonic's energy signature. That is that does not look like normal Sonic. Wow, so we're doing animal testing in this. Wow, this is um this is a little um record few laws. Okay, now this is pure animal testing. Yeah, what is wrong with these people? Birdie. What the That is Kill him. Just kill the Eggman. When, are we, when is Sonic ever gonna kill Eggman? I'm sorry, but when? When? Literally. Yo, can I kill that man? Can I kill that man? Please. Oh gosh. Dude, I don't think you want. Oh! Uh, um. Okay, now I have a theory that is messed up. Wait, whoa. Wait, what? Yo, I'm getting Sonic movie vibes from this. Shadow? Hallucinate? Um. Oh gosh. His life's flashing before his own eyes. Lucky shot. Okay, rains are dropping from the screen too many times. Yo, the rains! There's actually rains in the actual show. That's awesome. All right, Shadow. Okay. Oh, are they gonna encounter? Whoa! Uh What? So much happened in this first episode, like, what? Now keep in mind, I did watch, a, I only watched a little bit of this before react, doing my video reaction for this. Some of this was a blind reaction, but some of this wasn't. So keep in mind, some of this I was, I was a little too surprised about, but some of this I didn't react to. So, but after watching the full theme, is this the full theme? <clears throat> I like it. Oh, the, 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 the Sega move is Sonic move is Sega so sad, dude. What did the Sega book for the Sonic movie? That was a pretty good episode. I'm not gonna lie. That was awesome. Well, um, now we analyze it, but overall thoughts. That was a pretty good introduction. That leaves so much room. I mean, they've already I mean, planned out the entire story, but that leaves so much room for us to predict and theorize what what we think could happen next because honestly there's so much that could possibly happen now that there is so much room for um <clears throat> different like plot twists different theories yo the sonic fandom which is toxic it's gonna be going crazy after this but anyways um let's analyze this um again the reason that i cut out some parts of my reaction was because um i don't want to get destroyed by netflix just like my live stream did so um just keep that in mind but hey Let's react to this. I mean, not react to it. Analyze it. Sorry. So, of course, we start with this introduction with Sonic and his friends. And uh, they reference a lot about Chili Dogs in this. Um, honestly, I think, they, I think Man of Action was kind of um, pulled in by that the most. And then, <clears throat> oh my gosh, <clears throat> the voice acting was phenomenal. Honestly, awesome job to Devin Mack and the rest of the crew um, and the Sonic Prime cast. Honestly, awesome job. And again, I'm sorry for the um, recording and uh, Roblox and all the players. I couldn't control that, honestly. I did the best I could, guys. Um, you're late, honestly. Everything about these personalities, everything about these characters' personalities, just great to see them carrying over, like, improving upon these characters' personalities and really bringing them out with the animation and with the expressions on the characters' faces. It's honestly... We're never going to have a Sonic show like this ever again. So, like, this Sonic multimedia... So, multimedia of Sonic is never going to be the same again. Like, this is peak... I think this is peak. I mean, next to Sonic movie too, but honestly, we've reached peak, in my opinion, of the multimedia um, era of Sonic the Hedgehog. Honestly, great job, Man of Action Entertainment. Keep up the good work. So I'm curious, was it Eggman that crushed the Paradox Prison first, or was it Sonic that homing attacked it first? I'm guessing it was both at the same time, but since we got Sonic trapped into a reality where Eggman rules all in New York City, um, I'm assuming that Eggman crushed the Paradox Prison first, or when he pulled it out, it caused the um, Paradox Prison to implode. That probably could have been what happened as well, because maybe the, the just the rock is so fragile that once pulling it out, it becomes unstable and it just explodes. So I don't think it was a good idea for Eggman to chase after these things. Although it's never a good idea for him to chase down these things, anyways, because it never ends well for nor Sonic's team or Eggman's team. So 
it never ends well either way. And so that blue electricity around Sonic, that isn't, um, so that blue electric electricity around Sonic, that's not, um, apparently the Lightspeed Dash. I thought it was the Lightspeed Dash, but I guess it's just the energy that's from the, um, the energy that's from the, um, the, um, Shatterverse, I guess, that's being absorbed into him. And that's basically, I guess, um, Tails later on, um, regulated that, so it doesn't, like, corrupt his speed or, like, makes it, exerts that energy. But, I mean, that makes him less valuable to the Chaos Council, in my opinion. And then Sonic getting ran over by a truck here. I mean, how many times have we seen that in the Sonic show? I mean, the last time I saw it was Sonic X, so probably not too many times. Why is everyone ignoring me? That's awesome attention to detail. I love that. It's amazing. That's amazing. I love that so much. Um, the comedy is great. Some, I mean, keep in mind, some of the comedy in this is going to be a little bit um, cheesy. But I'm not complaining. <clears throat> I mean, this show is for, like, young fives. So, um, young five-year-olds and for younger preschool kids. So, it's not gonna, it's not gonna, like, the jokes aren't gonna appeal to us, like, older Sonic fans and for those veterans. But, um, it definitely, I definitely like the art style for it. And I love the animation. And I think this is probably definitely, by far, the best Sonic television series we've ever had. How is he able to read that again? Like, I, yo, that, how does that say, welcome to U New York City, you're welcome? Don't understand that. And at this moment in time, I guess a Sonic doesn't realize he's in a in another um, universe. So it looks like that. So it looks like that energy that's revolving around him is ex being exerted from the Shatterverse. It looks like the Shatterverse gave him that energy, and I guess being in, being inducted into the Paradox Prism is basically made him exert that energy. Um, I don't know why his other friends aren't um, Tails and Knuckles, but I, I'm assuming that's because they are probably in another universe as well. Themselves are. Okay, so here's what here's a theory I already have. So, a theory I already have is maybe Tails, Knuckles, Amy, and Rouge, and Eggman are probably have been sucked into the Paradox Paradox Prism as well, or the Shatterverse, and now they've been separated from Sonic as well, and now Sonic's meeting other versions of his friends and Eggman. So I'm assuming this is just a theory, but I think maybe Sonic's original friends, like their original personalities, are still there, but they're just in other parts of the Shatterverse, and now. When we saw when we saw Tails and Sonic go in that um well, I guess nine Sonic and nine go through that little um vehicle through the Shadowverse maybe that's how he's gonna find his original friends with their original personalities that's just a theory but it could be interesting if that's how it develops I missed this part um right here where um basically Sonic's ego gets to him and apparently when he that wasn't Sonic's power basically that was the speed that was the power amplifier that was inside of the um egg crusher. So um, that boom was probably that boom was so powerful that it caused caused an earthquake and basically shattered the top of the mountain in Green Hill where the shatter where the um, paradox prism is. I almost said shatterverse, but it's two different things. Although it could be the same thing. Honestly, in this scene, this scene alone really shows off the awesome job that Man of Action and Wild Brain um did here. Honestly, this was an awesome job. Okay, not this part, but this next part right here, right here when they were um when like. Rouge is talking to um, Sonic and Tails. This is probably the best part of the animation, in my opinion, because of the like the squash and stretch of their eyes. It looks so good. Oh my gosh, dude, awesome job! And basically, right here, Rouge elaborates on the Paradox Prism. So I'm guessing the Paradox Prism has been in Green Hills this entire time. And um, oh my gosh, and right here, the comedy. How did you get in here? You left the door open. Okay, some parts are a little cheesy, but some parts are actually kind of... They're, they're pretty funny. They kind of got me laughing a little bit. Some of my laughs were forced, but um, some of these were actually pretty funny, in my opinion. In my honest opinion. And then we jump back to here in, in uh, New York City. Um, I like the name there, New York. And Rusty Rose here. Literally, Amy has been... I... Bro. This... If it... If it... I can't believe... I don't know why Eggman would go to the dark levels of just... just like, just torturing Amy and turning her into a manipulative creation, manipulative like, creation of his own. It's just, that's dark. There are some dark elements to this, but it definitely is targeted towards kids. But there are some dark elements in this. Like, honestly, I, that, I really am looking forward to this show, like the rest of the show. I can't wait to see how, um, how Sonic interacts with all the other um, members of the Chaos Council. And the baby, the baby, the baby. Literally, I love the baby. The baby is like my favorite character so far. I love him. Love him the bits. It's like awesome. The rattle, the egg, the, ba the baby rattle, the baby rattle too, which is awesome. And then the Sonic wins here. Love the, they're adapting different elements from the Sonic games. Sonic Adventure 2, obviously, with the Sonic wins. 
A lot of people thought it was a side loop, but I knew as soon as that tornado started, it was Sonic wins, which is an awesome, awesome thing to include into the um, the show. And I swear, if we do not get a plushie of this in real life, Sega, if we don't, I better see, I better see a plushie of this. I will buy this straight away. This plushie, this thing is so adorable. I need a plushie of it. Ugh. Oh, so cute. Oh my gosh. So cute. I need a plushie of this so badly. And then Tails here, like, really beating the crap out of Sonic. Honestly. <clears throat> it's like, and Sonic resisting to fight Tails. Honestly. It really just shows, like, how much Sonic, like, I mean, even though Sonic, I can see a bits of Sonic being a douchebag in this series so far. Um, he does care. Unlike in Sonic X, where he literally didn't care for Chris or anyone else in that show. But, he, I, I, there is bits of that showing in here, but... He does care for his friends, and I love the seeing that bits of him being a little complete douchebag, but also being that one who cares for others and looks out for everyone who is in need. Like I love the contrast, the compare and contrast with this character, with with this Sonic's character. It really makes him stand out, in my opinion. So it looks like here there's a huge rebellion across New York City that Rouge and Knuckles have formed, and that is amazing. Honestly, that really. I, that really blows a lot more theories, but I'll save those theories for the next episode. So make sure you guys do subscribe for um, more reviews and reactions and analysis of the um, the series. <laughs> Who's your trainer? <laughs> oh my gosh, some of these jokes are funny. And this part right here, the sprite work, yes, it could use some work, but oh my gosh, I love that. Yo, Mickey Mouse ears, uh, hello. Like this scene right here, honestly, I love how they're like going back to Sonic 2. Awesome, best to, best Sonic game, change my mind. And then it shows this 16-bit um, version of the scene where it's in this universe. And Sonic just does not exist in this, in this, like, in this moment, in this universe. So, I'm going to get to my theory soon. I, I won't mention it yet because I want to get to the scene so I can line it up. But, oh my gosh. And the regulators here. <laughs> don't explode. Um, the regulators here as well. So basically, um, right here, the shoes... So apparently those regulators, I'm assuming, are gonna make it because as soon as he transforms here, um, as soon as he transforms here, his shoes change to the to change to an outfit that fits this universe. So I'm guessing every time he goes to a different universe, like the prehistoric universe or the pirates universe, his his gloves and shoes are gonna change to fit that style and aesthetic of that universe, which is gonna be pretty awesome. So I'm guessing that's what Tails Tails regulators are doing. But that's gonna be awesome. Sonic outfits, holla. Your, your wishes have been answered, Sonic Outfits, in this series. You're, you're welcome. Don't thank me. Thank um, Man of Action Entertainment for doing a great job on that. Also, a touch of detail, by the way. Love it. Although, he's not wearing socks. It's a little it's a little weird. <laughs> not wearing socks. And then we got the Egg Council. Uh, I'm calling it, okay, Chaos Council. I like the I like Egg Council more. Old Eggman. And then we got Rock Dude Eggman, Dr. Deep, Dr. Dunnit on the uh, right side, which we just saw. Dr. Babble, the baby, the baby. Dr. Don't defines me, literally, on a Steam Deck. Do Mr. Dr. Eggman. So, five, is, this the, is this the Eggman we know? Or is this a different, is this like Eggman's son or something? Like Eggman's descendant. One makes five, five makes one. So, I've been seeing a lot of theories about, how, about these people, about these um, Eggmans. So, I'm wondering, is this, does this mean that Eggman made clones of himself and basically define like split his personalities into five different Eggmans. that would be interesting because i've been seeing a lot of people i've i've been watching on um a lot of other people's reactions on youtube so a lot of people a lot of people are saying that people are saying this is the same Eggman that we know just split into five different people i mean Eggman would be smart enough to divide his personality into five different like people so he would be smart to do that smart enough to do that but like if he did though why would he do that Although, it would get a lot more work done, so I wouldn't blame the guy, to be honest. And then right here, it seems to know who we are. Yeah, we have no information. So these guys don't even recognize Sonic. Really, they don't recognize Sonic. So is, 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 is that, that really brings up my question. I feel like Sonic doesn't exist in this universe. Like, Sonic himself is a character. Or, he did exist, but is now gone. And by that part, when I say he's gone, that's another theory that I'm going to get into in just a minute. Once we get to that dark scene with the with um Amy's uh, pet Flicky right here, party with this like seriously. So I'm guessing Rusty Rose is the only Amy as a robot is the only 
like, character, like, or at least Badnik, at this point, that actually is powered by Flicky. Oh my gosh. And then right here, same power that energy that powers the city. Does this mean that they killed Sonic or are basically have Sonic trapped somewhere in this universe and are using him to power the city? And then Sonic right here just chilling and again they mentioned Chili Dogs way too much in, in, in this episode. I'm just not gonna I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie there. They mentioned it a little bit too much. Um, nothing wrong with that though. I love the references. I love the references, but do a variety of references and Easter eggs, if at all possible. I would love to see a little bit more of those Easter eggs. And then Shadow here. Which literally obliterates Sonic. Literally punches the crap out of him. Out of existence. <laughs> and then that's the last shot we get. And then that's it. Oh my gosh. This is... This is probably the best Sonic show we've ever gotten. Sorry if this reaction was all over the place. You could thank Netflix for the disorganization of this reaction. Just because of their copyright stuff. Um, but, you know... It is what it is. We're going to deal with it. We're going to try to make the most of it. And I hope this video doesn't get taken down. So with that being said, let me know your guys' thoughts in the description below. A description. Oh my gosh. I keep mixing that up in every video now. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below about what you guys think of this series so far. Do you guys think that this episode is a great introduction to the series? Do you guys think this is going to be the best series we've ever had so far yet in the Sonic series? Or do you think that there's still things that need to be worked on? Or you don't? do you not like some of the voice actors? Let me know all your thoughts in the description. I keep saying it again. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Um, um, what do you think of Sonic Prime so far? With that being said, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you do leave a like and subscribe so you don't miss a single piece of content from me related to Sonic and Nintendo news and reactions such as this. And make sure you do, I want to mention this right now, the Super Smash Brothers Thus Place Emissary, a fan dub, the mean of a whole bunch of people on the Discord server and through YouTube are doing which is going to be releasing on December 25th, Christmas Day. There'll be a card up here if you guys want to see the teaser trailer for that as well, if you guys have not seen that trailer yet. Um, the premiere for it will be listed um, five days before the, the um, actual premiere itself, so make sure you do subscribe so you don't miss any updates related to that. And there's a second channel as well, which we'll be uploading bonus content, content to as well, as, much of, as well as my other friends will be posting content there as well. So again, please bear with me with this disorganization. Um, I'm not going to be making a lot of videos probably this week, Unless I upload this on Thursday. If I haven't uploaded any content this week, I'm sorry. Final exams are taking over my life right now, but that's okay because school comes first. So I do bear, please bear with me um, during this time. And I really do appreciate your guys' support. So that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll be seeing you guys in the next video. Peace out.